Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. And if you're here, I just want you to first know that I have tons of other math videos in addition to this one. This one being, of course, from mathdrills.com. There'll be a link in the description below. So make sure to check out some of those other videos. But for now, let's go ahead and do some two-digit plus two-digit addition. Really, the best way to handle these problems is the standard algorithm. What we do with the standard algorithm is we first start with the ones place, that's this one, and then we move on to the tens place, and then we move on to the hundreds place, and so on, carrying in, carrying over any additional values that go over 10 to take us to the next quantity, okay? So I'll talk about what that looks like in a second. This one is specifically, this worksheet is specifically labeled as sum regrouping, and you're gonna see what that looks like in just a second. So. As I said, we're going to start with the ones place, and we're going to do 5 plus 3, and that, of course, is 8. So we're going to write 8 here. A little small. Let me write a little bit bigger. So we got 8 here, and then we do 9 plus 1, and that's 10. And there's our answer. It's as simple as 108. Now, this is <laughs> not my recommended strategy, but this is a way to do this or a way to think about it probably better is this is the same number as 90 plus 5, and this is the same number as 10 plus 3. That's because this is in the tens place, which is why that nine's there. Not just a regular nine, that's a 90, and this is a 10, not just a one, okay? So that's something to keep in mind. 90 plus five plus 10 plus three is the same problem. 90 plus 10 is 100. Five plus three is eight, which is why we get 100, 90 plus 10, plus eight, 108, okay? That's just a side point. But the standard algorithm will not lead you astray. You can just trust in that. I'm going to switch over to pink. I don't use it enough, so I'm just go ahead and using it. So we're going to start with the ones place. We get six. We have five plus three. That is eight. So we have 86 as our answer. I know my handwriting needs some work. Now, here's one that's going to need some regrouping. So we have 56 plus 96. Now, here we have the answer 12. And this is a mistake I see all the time. I see 12 and then nine plus five. Oh, that's 14. Oh, it's 1,412. 1, that's not the answer, okay? What what happens is if we have these two ones, that's 12, right? And then we have 50 plus 90. So don't mistake that for you know going over to the tens place, that 12, and then putting the next one in the hundreds place. That would be a mistake. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to drop the two down and leave that in the tens place. But then we still have to do something with that extra one. And what we do is we bop it over. That's my word for the day. Bop it over to the tens place. So as we can see here, this is a tens place. That's a tens place. And that's a tens place. And now we're adding up all those tens places together, which is, you know, the proper way to do it. So this is going to give us 15. And so we have 152. You shouldn't say 152. 152 is our answer. Okay? So... Again, what we're going to do is we're going to drop the ones place down, carry the one. You often say carry for, you'll hear that said, to, for the any of the tens place digit, and then we're going to add up the tens column, okay? And as you put it into practice, it's just really pretty simple, so don't stress over it too much. We're just going to have the two, and then this is 14. No carrying involved. Here, we're going to have carrying. Anything over 10 that has a sum over 10, you're going to have some carrying. So we have 16, but again, I need to carry it and put it into the tens column. And I have 1 plus 1 plus 3, which gives me 5. Okay? Most of these are fairly simple. If we have a 0, just put a 0, and then we have 12 here. I'm just jumping around. Here we have 11, and that's 1. So now we have 1 plus 6 plus 1, that's 8. All righty. And then we got 4, that's 14. Carry the 1, that's 10, that's 14. What do we answer? 144. And that's just the standard algorithm is just the way to go. Um, yeah, not much to it. So that's all there is to, uh, to this video. I, I'm like looking for more stuff to say, and I think I'd just be wasting your time. Here's one that just do real quick. 4 plus 10, carry the 1, and then that's going to be 7. So, again, like I said, make sure to check out some of my other videos. Uh, tons of math drills videos, other videos, other types of special features. Just check it out. Click on the link. I'll see you around. Thanks for watching.